Have you ever seriously considered quitting social media? Um, yeah, plenty of times.、Uh, social media can be very exhausting, but at the same time, fun.、Um, kind of depends on、uh, where you're at mentally. But as of right now,、um, I love social media. I love creating content. I love making videos.、Um, I also love traveling and meeting new people. So I would say within the next few years, maybe. But as of right now. I'm gonna continue doing what I love doing. So, if you could have your dream vacation, where would you go and what would you do? I've always wanted to go to like,、um, I don't know, like Bali or somewhere very tropical, Bora Bora,、um, and I'd probably go, I don't know, feed the jellyfish,、um, go snorkeling,、uh, swim with the dolphins, all that good stuff. Um, if you had to eat one meal for the rest of your life, what would you choose? Definitely sushi or anything like raw fish, sashimi. It's so good.、Um, I'm obsessed with the wasabi. I could eat that thing just by itself. So, what is your most embarrassing moments? One of my most embarrassing moment was、um, one time I ordered an Uber. And、um, I saw the car, but I didn't read the plate numbers. So、uh, I opened the passenger door, and it was a whole four-person family with、um, a baby in the back seat. So that was very embarrassing.、Um, I said sorry and、uh, went my way. When did you first go viral? I went viral probably last April.、Um, One video, I think, hit about six million views. I had to private due to family reasons.、Um, I kind of told the story of like how I had three dads, and、um, that kind of just blew up,、um, just all over the world. Everyone saw it. So that's one viral video. Who were the first creators you followed on social media? First creators I followed probably was.、Um, Zane,、uh, David Dobrik, probably most of the Vlog Squad, Addison Ray, Charlie D'Amelio, just those people. Which people or accounts are your favorite to follow on social media? Most of my,、um, I guess, the people that I follow on social media are all comedians. There's a new girl right now.、Um, her name is Kendra. She does like the SpongeBob green screen. Uh, videos where she puts herself in the green screen, and I think SpongeBob's her husband. She's so funny. She's one of my favorites. What is my biggest pet peeve? One of my biggest pet peeve is when someone tries to hug me or like get in my bubble without telling me or without letting me know. It just like freaks me out. I don't know why. What is my favorite birthday memory? My favorite birthday memories. Probably this year,、um, my dirty thirty.、Uh, that's what I call it. We rented out like this big house in Fort Lauderdale and invited all my closest friends,、um, and we pretty much just had a good time. If you could meet three people, dead or alive, who would you want to meet? That's a tough one. I would love to meet Elvis.、Um, I watched his movie. Uh, recently, and、uh, it was a really good story, and、um, I'd love to meet Elvis. Another one, Juice World. Love to meet Juice World. His music was like top tier, in my opinion. And then I guess, all right. So I got two dead so far.、Um, probably, I don't know.、Um, James Corden. <laughs> I watch his YouTube videos, and、um, his carpool karaoke's were. Very funny, still funny. Do you see social media as your long-term career path? If not, what could you see yourself doing?、Um, to be honest, at first when all my videos were blowing up, I definitely had that realization that maybe this could be long-term. But obviously,、um, there are some personal things that、uh, I come to realize that、um, not sometimes social media isn't for everyone.、Um, there's always, you know, you need to have that backup plan. So、um, right now, I could see myself doing、um, sales. I don't know something that has to do with like human services,、uh, human resources. But if I really wanted to, or you know, put my dreams out there, definitely something that has to do with like the marketing or PR business.
what would be the one superpower you would choose to have? I always said this and I'm going to stick to it. I would love the power to control electricity. Um, I don't know, just something electricity, anything electric, lightning, thunder, it really, um, really intrigues me. So I would love to have that superpower. What is your favorite video that you've ever posted? One video that I've posted um, that I really, really love uh, till now is um, last summer I went to the Jersey Shore with my friends and we were eating sushi um, at this restaurant. And I look up and all you can see is this mall cop like scootering like down the mall. It was so funny, so I made a TikTok about it. And then it was like, post your snap memories from this day. So I posted the snap memory from the day that the filter on uh, TikTok um, had. And it was just a little clip of the mall cop, like scooting down the hall. What is something most people who follow you don't know about you? So I would say my age. Um, a lot of people don't know, but I'm 30 years old with a twin brother. Um, I know it's hard to believe. Um, a lot of people still, like even my closest friends, like freak out. They're like, can't believe you're 30. Like, what did you do? Like, you know, like, did you sell your soul or something? Like, I said, no, it's honestly, I'm pretty shocked myself how I still look like this. Um, but yeah. If you could take control of anyone's Instagram account for one day, who would it be and why? You know? That is a very good question, but I would love to take control of Kanye West's Instagram one day. Just, I know you guys see it over the news, all over the news. Um, his, uh, his little posts here and there, and um, I don't know. I would love to just post on his account one day and kind of like see where his head's at and um, like... You know, I don't know. I just, it just seems like it's a fun idea. What are your favorite movies of all time? My favorite movies of all time, probably um, the Marvel movies. Uh, I've been watching Marvel since I was like 16 when the first Iron Man came out. And then when the Avengers came out, I freaked out. And then Endgame came out freaked out more now I'm waiting for more of the Marvel movies to come out so I'm I am a huge fan of Marvel what advice would you give to your past self um my advice that I would give to my past self would probably be um to be confident be more confident don't ever listen to what people have to say about you uh you're your own person you know, it's just life, do your own thing. Um, you don't need opinions from other people to kind of decide what you want to do and what you want to be. And yeah, I think I answered most of the questions. So um, thank you, Famous Birthdays, for allowing me to let you guys know more about myself. Um, and I'll see you guys soon.